Oh god, this is unscripted, and I am very much afraid. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It is I, Ghost Cube. And in my last video, I said that I would do a Q&A if I got enough questions. And I did get some, uh, but most of them are just friends that came to roast me, which is also a lot of fun. Uh, also, thank you guys so, so much for all of the nice comments in the last video, just telling me how happy they were that I was back. It was just really heartwarming and it means a lot to me, so thank you so, so much for that. Um, I always do look at the comments and they always make my day. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna just jump around when it comes to these questions. A lot of them are just like roasts, but some of them are genuine from some very nice subscribers. Starting off with Chocolate Cherry 15, they say, What kind of topping do you like on your pizza? Well, I know Chocolate Cherry 15 in real life, and they know that I don't like pizza. Well, at least I don't, I don't like tomato sauce, but if I had to pick, probably mushrooms. How many teeth do you have? 27. How high can you count using your fingers? Pretty high. What's the best accent you can do? Can I do accents? I don't think I can. I don't think I'm strong enough. I can like throw my voice around and I can do like cartoonier voices. But I wouldn't say I can do accents very well. What's your favorite shade of orange? Blood orange. And how many times do I have to tell you this lesson, old man? Twice. This question comes from Moonrise Hellhound, who I also do know in real life. And he says, Mac or cheese? Oh well. Mac. Best character in Foster Love for Imaginary Friends, if you would ask me. This is a uh, Mac Supremacy channel. If you associate with blue or cheese, you're not welcome. This comes from a uh, good friend, Tiffy Fit. What inspired the name Ghost Cube? It's kinda dumb <laughs> now that I think about it. I started Ghost Cube a few years ago. My good friend, Shotgun Rain Guy, he was Mr. Widemouth in my Mr. Widemouth video, and he makes like a brief appearance in Are You Still There? And we also collab on his channel, and I believe we're collabing on a gaming channel very soon. I don't know if it's up. If it's up, I'll, I'll leave a link. It's me and a few friends, and we are playing some games. But what inspired Ghost Cube? Shotgun Rain Guy was the one who convinced me to make Ghost Cube. And we were like brainstorming names, and I was thinking about what I like. And at the time, we had some like running jokes, and well, Ghost Cube was just kind of like a combination of two things that I liked at the time. The first, which <laughs> is so weird to say, but <laughs> it was the box ghost from Danny Phantom, because I don't know why he was like my favorite character at the time. This was like before we found out like Butch Hartman was like an absolutely horrible person. But I liked the box ghost in Danny Phantom. I just stand him for like a little bit because I thought he was just a funny character because he really like walked around acting like he was like a crazy villain when in reality he just kind of was like a minor inconvenience. And something about that was hysterical to me. So that's where the like, that's where the ghost part comes from. And the cute part, well, yeah, I guess it was also kind of apart from like Box Ghost, but also it was a combination of the GameCube because one of my favorite games, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, was on that console. So I just kind of took like Box Ghost and GameCube and created that little combination. If I had known it was also a Rubik's Cube, I would have not done that. Next question comes from my friend Tiz B. Me, and B says, What does your regular voice sound like? Like when you're hanging out with friends? It's time for me to come clean. This is a lie. This is not my real voice. Ghost Cube is like a voice I do when I'm reading horror stories. It's not like too different from my like more natural speaking voice, but I like this voice because it's like deeper and it's more dramatic and it's good for reading. And also because like with a lot of creepy pastas, there's like a pretty good amount of like narrators being male presenting. So I like to make the voice like a bit more androgynous than my normal one. And I feel like my normal voice isn't even like that far off. It's just like a lot squeakier. Like it's a bit like this, which I hope isn't like too different. But yeah, this is my normal voice. And this is my ghost keep voice. I'm sorry if I crushed your dreams. YouTube is a lie. <laughs> Nothing is real. Reality is an illusion. I'm just a hologram actually. Okay, so this is a question from my friend Shotgun Rain Guy. And he said, for the Q&A, just a simple question. 
How does it feel to steal my content from me? You leech! This is like a running gag because for the longest time you couldn't find my channel by looking up Ghost Cube. But if you looked up Shotgun Rain Guy's channel, I would be one of the very first results. And I think I still am one of the very first results. And now the only thing we've concluded from this is that I am leeching off of his subscribers. I would have gotten nowhere had it not been because I'm stealing his views. And that is true. Guy, I know you're watching this and I just want to say we are not home slices. Cut your own bread. It's over. And if you think I'm sorry for stealing your subs, I'm not. In fact, I'm gonna cancel you. Shotgun Rain guys canceled, I'm gonna start it <laughs> Hell yeah! Give me the, the sweet YouTube followers. Feels great to steal content from you. 10 out of 10. We'll leech again. Art Lover for Life, who is actually- I, I've noticed you before. Thank you so much for subscribing and sticking around and I see you in the comments in a lot of my videos. And just thank you so much for being here. And I really appreciate this. What is your favorite creepypasta? It has changed over the years. I used to, for years, say my favorite was Ichbar Bigglestein, and it's still pretty up there because I, I like the horror tropes where they make it seem like it's a supernatural force that's plaguing somebody, and then in reality, like, the twist is that it's just, like, a person, like, the biggest horror of all is just, like, ourselves. People can be scary. And I liked that with Ichbar Bigglestein, just how it plays, like, both sides, where it makes it seem like it could be supernatural, but as you keep going, it's, it's pretty obvious that it is just the narrator being unreliable and probably not well. Ichbar Bigglestein used to be my favorite for years, but I would say now my favorite one is Ikidomari, part one and two. I just really like that one. I like the ones where it's like a group of friends getting picked off one by one. So yeah, that's probably my favorite creepypasta for now. The last round of questions are from Amy Bishop. I also recognize you from commenting on my videos and being a longtime subscriber. Thank you so much for continuing to come back to my channel, honestly. I recognize a lot of people who like continue to comment on my videos and continue to watch and stay subscribed. So thank you, Amy Bishop. So here's some questions. First one, what are your pronouns? Honestly, any pronouns are fine. I don't really care about my gender. But yeah, any's fine. Favorite art piece you've ever worked on? I have like a few favorites. One of them is this koala piece I did last year for a charity zine supporting the firefighters during the wildfires going on. And yeah, I guess I really liked the lighting I did. I don't know how like successful the piece was. It's probably not my best one, but I really liked how it came out and I just associate it with like a fun time because I was really trying so hard to get into zines and it was one of the first ones I got into because it was like uh, free for all, like anybody was welcome. I'm actually, I've been in a lot of zines since and I feel like putting it in my portfolio helped open the door for that. And I can make like a whole other video on just like zines and fanzines because I really did like a ton of them last year. And they were all like really fun experiences overall. But yeah, probably this one. How long have you been doing art? I've been doing art for about seven years now. Yeah, seven years. Who inspires you? Honestly, a lot of people. I feel bad because I feel like I'm gonna like leave out so many, but I have like post notifications on like all my social media for all like different artists that I follow and it's probably like hundreds at this point. A few of my favorites would probably be ABD Illustrates, Ergo Josh, Absoline, Paul Tavorder, Scotty Young, Ethan Becker. The list goes on. A ton of artists and animators inspire me all the time and I'm always constantly looking at other artists' work and drawing inspiration from them. And how are you today? Uh, <laughs> honestly, your questions are so sweet. Thank you so much, Amy Bishop. My day has been pretty good, thank you. And I hope you're having a good day and I hope everybody else who's watching is having a great day. I believe those are all the questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you liked this um, unscripted, unstructured video. If you guys want me to do more Q&As like this, leave more questions in the comments and maybe we can make this an ongoing thing. Now that I have these sprites, I can probably do like story time kind of stuff if that's something you're interested in. I can do commentaries. The possibilities are now endless. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please go subscribe to all these sweet people. Chocolate Cherry 15 to be fit, tis be me, Amy Bishop, Art Lover for Life, Moonrise Hellhound, and Shotgun Rain Guy, all super sweet people who have been subscribed for a while and have all supported me along the way. Hopefully I will get more videos uploaded soon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and sweet dreams.